the Gary to Gagari section of the Inland Rail project has been delivered as a PPP. Design, build, finance and maintain and they're the four elements that um, we look for from the private sector um, under a PPP contract. A PPP procurement methodology allows ARTC to optimise risk transfer as between the private sector and ARTC. I think what tipped the balance in terms of the Gowrie to Kagaroo section or G2K, in terms of it fitting a PPP model was partly because there was just recognition that it's a very, very technically complex section. It's a marquee project for industry. It's an opportunity for them to bring their smarts and to demonstrate that they can actually successfully deliver a project of this scale and complexity. And so where you have the geography that's very hilly, um, it suddenly means you're doing, you're building a lot of as we say, it's either tunnels or viaducts, you've got a lot of cuttings or embankments. Um, there's something like 50 bridges that will be included, um, a lot of you know, grade separations and so on. So it is a seriously technical engineering project. Inland Rail has got a philosophy of active engagement when it comes to communities, so we really want to make sure that we are listening to the communities, understanding their concerns and making sure that they have information to um, assess the realities of the project and provide feedback, um, input into our designs um, and feel that they've been able to contribute um, where that's appropriate. The market for infrastructure projects in Australia is very hot, there's a lot of opportunity there. So the question is why would a bidder choose to involve itself in the Gary to Kigaru project? I think companies uh, you know, would like to be able to say that they have helped to deliver what is a trophy project. I'm really keen to see um, the ideas, um, the innovations uh, that proponents can bring to the table um, in terms of the way that we engage with community, uh, the way that we drive sustainability. It's going to be the company that comes up with the smartest technical solution that is most likely to win the PPP tender. One of the things that we want to achieve out of the expressions of interest process for our project is to identify a short list of bidders that we can take forward into the request for proposals phase that really are the best of breed within the market. So these are the top companies, the blue chip companies who have the technical capacity in terms of their engineering experience and capability and also their financial standing to really deliver a fantastic outcome for ARTC.